Hey everyone, welcome to the Uxup channel, and today I have kind of a different comparison on ukuleles with quite different price points. And this is uh, caused by this instrument. This is the Koloha Opio Long Neck Soprano, which I just recently reviewed, and I changed the strings. So first of all, just to give you a demo of what that sounds like with the new strings and not having low G. So... So yeah, so there was a super high G in the harmonic sounds when I played that C chord. Really clear. You can hear the the solid wood character of it. It's less dark than it was for a couple different reasons, different strings and no low G. But it still has a darker character to it than a brighter character. It doesn't quite have like the punch of a Martin soprano, for example doesn't quite have that bite. It's loud though. And that one harmonic just keeps singing and singing and singing. So I've had a couple questions over time and the first one I wanted to get to was a comment that appeared after my review of which one would I choose? Would I choose the Koloha Longnick Soprano Opio or would I choose the Kala SSLNG which I gave a five star or five ukulele rating versus a 4.5. And the reason this one got a 4.5 is really because the Koa model is a little bit better, a little bit sweeter, a little bit brighter, in my opinion. And my ear likes brighter instruments. I think that's fair to say, and that's okay, too. So here is the Kala K-A-S-S-L-N-G Solid Spruce Long Neck Soprano. It does have that sort of roundish import neck, even more than the Koaloha. It has a narrow nut. So here's, here's what this one sounds like. So you have that bite of the spruce followed by the darkness of the laminate on it. It's really well matched though and it sounds great. Absolutely wonderful little ukulele too. So if I had to choose one of these, which one would I choose? Well, ultimately it comes to price point, doesn't it? If you've got $450 and you can't afford a full Koaloha, this is a pretty amazing instrument. If all you've got is $150 or maybe $180, including a case, because Kella doesn't include that, you do get a case with that. And then the other things you need, humidifier, tuner, the, you know, um, Still, you can get at least two of these for the price of one of these. And even on the used market, these will come in often under $100. I think that's where I got mine. And these will drop in price generally under $300, maybe even as low as $250. Still, in both situations, the SSLNG is a far better purchase. So I think the Colo has a better sound, but the SSLNG has a really well-balanced, good sound for a soprano or for, for a spruce top with a laminate back and sides, but at a much lower price. So if I had the money, I'd buy the Koloha. If I didn't, I'd get the SSLNG. And if I had the money, maybe I'd get both because they are different instruments. And this one does have a little more peace of mind. For example, if something happens to this one, I'd be bummed, but it wouldn't destroy me because I know I could easily replace it in a number of ways, used or new, whereas a Koloha, if you destroy this or it gets damaged, um, a little different ball game there, um, still replaceable, right? But it's 450 versus 150 or less, depending on how you do it. Now, in terms of warranty, 
the Koloa has the better than the weather warranty. So if something happens structurally to this ukulele, they will take care of it. Not, you know, bumps and bruises or things that you do to it. But if the bridge lifts or there's separation in it or something, they will take care of you. And they really do. They stand behind their products. There is no such guarantee with the Kala. So that would be those two. Now, the other instrument I was really excited about comparing is the Koa Kalane. And that was recently reviewed as well. It's a long neck soprano made of solid acacia, much like the Koloha. And in some ways, they are uh, very similar in some of the things that they do. And we'll talk about those. They are very similar in body depth. They're very similar overall in body size um, in terms of the cavity. Of course, you've got the Musibi um, sound hole on the Koloha. And just your standard round uh, sound hole there. You do have some extra, the, oh, the Honu turtles there. And then, of course, the um, inlay on the Koa Kalani logo versus just, you know, sort of the etched Koloha logo there. Um, you also get a bound fretboard on the Koloha, where you do not on the Koa Kalani. The Koa Kalani has geared tuners, whereas the Koaloa has the friction tuners. Again, still a little more picky than dealing with this. Now they have the same exact strings on, in fact, the same set. Because when you buy a set of Worth Clears, you get a double length that you can put on two instruments. So they're sharing the exact same strings. And I wanted you to hear the difference, because there is a difference. But the other big difference, $450, about $150 shipped to you new. So Again, you're talking you can buy literally three of these for the price of one of these. Is this three times better? Well, that's what I want to show you now. Because I've talked so long, let me tune up the Koloha again. All right. And let you hear that again. There's that harmonic really popping out. Now here is the Koa Kalane. Same thing. And the harmonics there that are popping out aren't quite as high. Now, what I say about the two of them, the Koloha is by far the better sound. It's deeper, it's richer, it's not as bright as the Koa Kalane, uh, but it's a better sound. There's no question to it. Um, and it does come with that, again, Koloha better than the weather warranty. However, the Koa Kalane has a couple things that I really like. Um, first of all, the sound... <laughs> While it is not Koloha, does have a sense of solid wood wood quality to it, um, a sound quality to it, if that makes sense. Yeah, I know it's hard to decipher, and I'll play this one versus the SSLNG in a second. And then the, the other two things, of course, you have the geared tuners, which we've talked about, but this neck profile on the Koa Kalani is wonderful, wonderful to play. So that too makes it really nice to play. And you have a little bit of peace of mind, again, with a $150 instrument versus a $450 instrument. Now, what if you have two $150 instruments together at the same time? The reality is they're not the same by any means, partially because the Kala has a solid spruce top and laminate back and sides. And the last I checked, spruce instruments, um, spruce as a wood is generally selling for less than acacia. And um, other than that, you also have the issue with that. Kala doesn't include anything. You get a light gig bag here. So you get solid wood, light gig bag for $150 shipped with that really great neck. And then here you just get the solid spruce top with the really well-made uh, long neck soprano instrument and that's it 
unless you buy a kit and then that's going to cost you a little more. So let me let you hear the difference between these two. And it's a lower harmonic hanging on on that one. So here is the Kala K-A-S-S-L-N-G. So what do I think of those two? Again, this is just my opinion. This is all my opinion in this comparison. Um, I do like the sound of the Kola Kalani overall better, but I do like the brightness of the Kala. But the Kala has a weird situation where it has the brightness and then the darkness of the laminate, but then something missing in between. It's kind of like having an Oreo without the filling. It's still really, really good, and it's better than an Oreo without the filling, because what is an Oreo without a filling, right? But this one has... All that. It, it misses a little bit of clarity that the Kala has, that's for sure. But it's still really quite amazing. Um, now, if I had to rate these three, or if you were like, which one of the three should I buy? I can't, I can't answer that for you. Um, hopefully you can look at this video and look at the different features that they have. Some people will want to go with the Kala, like at this $150 price point, some people want to go with the Kala just because the name Kala has been around for, I think, going on 16 years now. Whereas the Koa Kalani is just not as well known. Uh, they've been selling quietly in Hawaii. And there are a couple really disappointed customers that ended up with some warping on their instruments. And I'm not seeing any of that um, with this instrument. Whereas, of course, there have been horror stories with Kala too, right? I suppose there has been with every company. And totally separate from these two is, of course, the Koloha which kind of operates at a different plane, and it should at $450. It's designed and built completely different than these other two. Uh, please go back and look at the videos of these guys. I'm not sure that I actually did an internal video review of um, the SSLNG. I didn't have the endoscope at that point, but I do show you what the Koa Kalani looks like inside. When you look at the Koa Aloha, it's an entirely different ballgame, what they're doing um, in terms of what they're doing. And again, the only thing that would make this better of an instrument is if it's made of koa, quite honestly, in my opinion. Not because it says the word koa, but it really does have a sweeter, lighter sound to me. And at some point, I'll show the difference between a couple of my other kolohas uh, with that. So, three different soprano long neck ukuleles. They're all winners. These two I rated five, and partially just because of the bargain that they are. This one I rated a 4.5, just because I know that the Koa model exists. But really, they're all wonderful. And if you went with any one of these three, you'd be pretty happy. And with every one of these, don't forget, if you live in an area like I do, I live in the northern, midwestern United States, the weather here gets pretty cold in the winter. We have interior heat, and the humidity inside of our houses drops well below the safe range for instruments. So if you have any one of these three, if you buy them and you live in that sort of environment where the humidity is below 40% relative humidity, make sure that you take care of these uh, with a humidifier and get them the humidity that they need so that they don't crack and then also break your heart when your investment is, is gone. All right. Thanks so much for watching the video. I hope you're having a great day, and I will be back soon with some more Uke stuff for you.